All right, so it's now time to learn some proper English pronunciations. So let me bring in Willis, the board master, joining us live from Kisumu County. Willis, good evening, and how are you doing this uh, Friday night? <laughs> Fine, thanks, Betty. And how are you, by the way? Um, well, I'm doing great, Willis. The weekend is almost here, so <laughs> it's, it's a great feeling, I must say. But what way to end it without... We can't you know it why I, I have said, by the way? Uh-huh. You Tell did me. a great or a commendable job last week. That is this week, <laughs> Tuesday, that is. All right, thank you so much, Willis. I appreciate that. You also did a great job. All right, Willis, let's, <laughs> let's get straight to the words yeah. and let's start with our list. And we begin with looking at what Kenyans had to say on Word on the Street this time round. Dilin, Dilin, Guido time, Guido time, Guido time, girl time, girl time. Garot time. Garot time. Gillin. Gillin. Guillotine. 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 We listen, and that's why I love my Indian language so much because we learn, but we also get to have a laugh. Uh, but wait, Willis, you know, someone said giri, and I'm like, what is that? So talk to us about the correct pronunciation. I'll not laugh because I'm not even sure about how to pronounce that word anyway. It happens, Betty. Yeah. It happens, but I always say we laugh for learning, not laughing at somebody in terms no. of ridiculing somebody. No. When it comes to pronunciations, we cannot do that because you never know. We may think we are right only to discover that we are wrong. Or that's, somebody that's may right laugh there. at another person yeah. only to discover that he or she is also wrong. wrong. So this is a very tricky word. And unfortunately, Betty, for tonight, nobody has got it right. Oh, wow. Because that letter U is silent. You don't pronounce it. Mm -hmm. So those who said gui, yeah. no. It's just like somebody talking of guilt for guilt. It's oh, G-U-I-L-T. Yeah, right. You say guilt, not guilt. So ah. that letter U is also silent in this word. You say guillotine. 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 So he was sent to the guillotine, guillotine. not guillotine, guillotine, <laughs> and all that. It's guillotine. Guillotine. It's as simple as that, Willis. You know, people are really struggling to yes. say the correct word. All right, so we've learned that guillotine is the word. Moving it on to happens, the. happens, my dear sister. <laughs> okay, brother. All right, let's continue. Let's take a look at the next word here. And it's. Uh, do we say lawsuit or lawsuit? Uh, how do we go about that? It's such an easy word, but it's how, how do we pronounce it, Willis? A simple, Betty, but tricky. Okay. You say lawsuit, that is lawsuit. Uh -huh. You also say lawsuit. Those are alternatives. Huh? Suit or suit. So lawsuit or lawsuit. Loss, loss, suit, loss Is that correct, Willis? Or did I hear my own? Suit. You can say suit or suit. Suit. Can you now say suit, Betty? <laughs> suit. Yeah. Loss <laughs> Yeah, suit. Loss yes. I'm gonna you be saying loss. Loss suit or yeah. loss suit. Lawsuit. I'll say lawsuit, Willis, because you know of that thing we say, you know, a bit of swag here and there, you know, to communicate better, you know? <laughs> All right, Willis. Let's move on to the next word. Yes. And this one is, uh, let me spell it out F U N G U S. Fung fungus. Oh, you say fungus. Right. Fungus. <laughs> okay. Not fungus, not fungus. You say fungus. Uh huh. And Betty, when it comes to the plural form of that word, you now say fungi, fungi, or fungi. That is three acceptable alternatives or pronunciations for that matter, Betty. Oh, wow. Fungi, uh. fungi, 
or fungi. Fungi. The three alternatives can be used in mm. standard English. All please. right. I'm going to be using fungi. Sounds really good, Willis. I'll, I'll go with fungi, Willis. <laughs> Thank you for that. Moving on to this other word, V-A-N-G-U-A-R-D. Vanguard, is that correct, Willis? We should avoid ng, ng. Like ngamia, no. That sound ng in ngamia, don't use it. Uh. You say vanguard, okay. vanguard. So N and G uh -huh. are pronounced or articulated separately. Vanguard, right. vanguard. Vanguard. Willis, is it the same as how we pronounce yes. environment? Is, that, is it the same thing, environment? Environment okay. or environment. Oh. So in that case, you pronounce N. But in most cases, we hear of environment, uh, environment. Yes. But you have to say run, runment. Just like government. Don't say government or government. You have to say to govern so that that word carries a meaning as you pronounce it. You government. There is government. Wow, Willis. Government. Government. Is that yes. correct, Willis? Gov government. Government. That gov is it, Betty. Gov government. Government, Willis. Thank you for that. Yes. Learning a lot tonight, Willis, I must say. All right, let's move on to the next word. And this one is T-O-Q-U-E. It's like how much force um, you need to uh, make something rotate, like a tire, like when you talk about talk. Is it talk, talk you? Um, what is that, Willis? <laughs> Betty, sometimes it may sound unique when somebody pronounces that word as tag you, tag you or talk you. It may sound unique to yes. some ears, yes. but the accurate pronunciation of that word is talk, talk, talk just like T-A-L-K. T-O-R-Q-U-E, talk, T -O -R -Q -U -E, yes. talk. talk. and T-A-L-K, talk. Such words are called homophones. homophones. Different spellings and meanings, but, but they are pronounced the same way. Talk. All right, Willis, thank you for that. Moving on to this other word, do we say a piece or a piece? Is it, is it like a z or an s or a s at the end? If you say a piece, mm -hmm. you would be referring to a p i e c e for each, like. There is called yes. two goals a piece. Okay. That is with a p i e c e. But this word Betty is a piece. A piece. Letter S takes the voiced sound z. A piece okay. to appease the ancestors. A piece right. somebody. Okay. Yes. Got it, Willis. It's a z and not a s. All right. Moving on to another word, Willis. Willis, yes. you see, I can actually be a teacher. You've taught me so much. Uh, in my own low level, <laughs> I can do something. But Betty, uh, <laughs> in all honesty, you are sharp. Oh, wow. Thank you very much, Willis. Thank you for that comment, compliment, rather. Moving You're on welcome. to this, yes. Let me, let me move on to this other word, P-E-R-V-E-R-T. Uh, we know it as pervert. Is that the correct pronunciation? Betty, that is a tricky word because it's uh, among the words we call uh, heteronyms. Okay. You see, the way it is, uh -huh. when it functions as a verb, you say pervert, uh. to pervert. Uh. But the person is a pervert, pervert. pervert. If you can, you know, distinguish pervert and, and pervert. Pervert. Pervert uh -huh. and pervert. pervert. Can you distinguish the two? Yes, we listen. Yes, pervert, pervert is the verb, yes. but pervert, that is a person, is pervert. 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 All right. Got it, Willis. Got it. So it's about yes. the stress, yeah? All right. Moving yeah. on. Moving the on. The verb has the stress okay. on the second syllable. Second syllable. And the, uh, the noun has the yes. stress on the first syllable. All right. Got it, That Willis. is the onset. The onset. <laughs> onset. Moving on to this other word, M-A-R-T-I-A-L. Marshall, is that the correct pronunciation, Millis? <laughs> Another tricky one, Betty. Oh, you say Marshall. Marshall. 
not shiol. Don't say shiol. It's uh -huh. like you would say special. We say special. <laughs> and this one is marshal. M-A-R-T-I-A-L, marshal. To marshal or so and so is a field marshal. But remember, the verb marshal uh -huh. has M A R S H A L. Yeah. So M A R T I A L and M A R S H A L mm. are homophones. Homophones. You pronounce them as marshal. Marshal. Marshal, not martial. All right, marshal. Yes. All right, we're just moving on to this other word. Yes, Betty. Do we say envelope? Uh, I want to help you somewhere, Betty. There is something that I'm realizing. Okay. From the pronunciation you're using. Okay. Are you aware of short and long vowel sounds, Betty, by any chance? Uh, maybe you can give me an example, Willis. <laughs> you're putting me on, me on the spot tonight. I see that. That is what was sounding. It's okay. That was what was sounding funny to you. I caught it. So you say ma, that R is silent. So okay. letter A takes the long, low front vowel sound R. That's why we say ma. Just like you ma. say car, okay. my car, star, because R is silent. So it's a long vowel sound. Nothing funny about it, Betty. Okay, thank you so much, Willis. It's only that my director says yes. uh, you've, you've beaten me 10 nil on that. <laughs> <laughs> guys are, no, guys are it easy, over here. We are learning. Of course, we are learning, Willis. Um, it's good to learn, Willis, like you said. Yes. Moving on to this other word. Yes. Um, do we say envelope? It, because I know that's the correct pronunciation, Willis. Maybe you surprise us with another. You say envelope, uh -huh. envelope. But remember, you also have the alternative in which you can say envelope, envelope, and envelope. The common one, one is envelope. Yeah. Very, a very good pronunciation. Uh -huh. But you can also say envelope. On envelope. Envelope. Yes. Okay. Envelope. That way, Betty. On envelope. Yes. All right, Willis. Tonight, Willis, Willis English is sounding a bit mm. difficult. I must say, it's sounding about a bit. <laughs> you know, it's like I mean, you are not using class. scientific today. It's it's, it's more tonight. than scientific. It's even moved <laughs> to the to the other level of sounding like it's a physics class. You know, back in high school in the afternoon when you have double physics. Okay, I Willis. <laughs> Moving yes. on to our feedback question, Willis, as we begin to wind up. Jacob Marwa of Kehantra, he's asking about this word. I know it as paraphernalia. Is that the correct pronunciation, Willis? Not nilia, you say nailia. Paraphernalia. <laughs> paraphernalia. <laughs> okay. So N A L I A, you pronounce it as ne, nailia. Not nilia. Paraphernalia. Yes, Betty. So Jacob Marwa. <laughs> of Kehancha Kuria, uh -huh. say paraphernalia. Paraphernalia. Then we have John Willis Juma, Betty, if I may take over now. Yeah. John Willis Juma of Kisumu, you say megalomania, megalomania. Don't say megalomania. Mania, no. Mm -hmm. Mania, megalomania. Mohafanki of Wajia or That's Wajir, a, for that yeah. matter, you Is say staunch... impecunious. Yeah. Impecunious. Okay. He's a staunch, He's a staunch fan of fan Friday of, Briefing yes, or Half Funky Betty. You, yeah. can, you can agree with me on that. I can yes. really Eric Stocky. Mm. Yes. Stocky, you say chandelier. Chandelier. Don't say candelier. <laughs> Don't say chandelier. You say sha. That diagraph CH takes the sound sh chandelier. Wycliffe, Nyamao, and Kevin Ombori, you say rapport. Rapo. Rapo, Anita Wekesa, Mary Makoha, and Lorna Barasa, you say fiery, a fiery politician, uh, a fiery politician, F-I-E-R-Y, -E fiery, not fiery, mm. yes, mm. fiery, that is it, Betty. Okay. Teresa Kangede, you say calm, calm has returned to the town, not calm, that L is silent, you say calm and palm, not palm. calm or palm. palm. That would be, you know, inaccurate in terms of pronunciation. Uh, uh. Makolo Sam, you say pal, pal. Amos Maingi, distinction, distinction. distinction. Don't say distinction. Distinction, <laughs> no. Distinction, no. Distinction, distinction. distinction. Yeah. Junction, not junction. 
Some even say Jackson for junction, which is not acceptable. Or let's say in of Narok, you say cattle, not kettle. When you say kettle, you are talking about what we know as birika in Kiswahili. Uh. But when you are talking about mifugo, mifugo, you say cattle, not cattle. Oh. Nyamwea Simon, recipe. Recipe, not recipe or recipe. 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 Davis Omare and Honorable Wilfred Monyenye Yoge of Kisi. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Monyenye Yoge, thank you so much. It's great. Hard work pays, uh, sir. David Motanya, you say elite. Elite or elite. What you should avoid is a light. Okay. Ahmed Guhad, machismo, machismo. Yeah, machismo. And finally, for the feedback questions, mm. Yvonne Anyango. Yvonne Anyango, you say resignation, resignation, okay. not resignation. You resign, but what you have done is a resignation. resignation. When we have those inflections, that is the changing of the form of a word for grammatical function, mm. you may have what we call Partial changes in pronunciation. Resign, but resignation. resignation. Surprise word for tonight, Betty. Uh, when we talk that. about the plant or grains, mm. you must have heard of barley. Barley. Barley, which is inaccurate. Mm -hmm. You say barley, oh. barley, not barley, barley. Bali. It's li, just like Charlie, Charlie. not Charlie. <laughs> and we say rift valley, rift valley, not rift valley okay. or rift valley. Rift valley rift and valley. Bali. So right. finally, Betty, uh -huh. we have the confusing words. S-O-R-E, so, so, just like S-O-A-R, mm. so, so. But the lower word is a bit tricky for many people occasionally. We say sour. sour, sour relations, sour relations or relations. And you can also say sour milk, right. sour, milk. sour milk, not so milk. Right. And flour, flour. F maize flour, not right. maize flour, uh. not maize flour, <laughs> maize flour. flour. Betty, let English <laughs> well, it's tonight. I've even seen just one tweet someone saying that tonight I just should just, you know, stay back, lean back, and just let you do your thing. Willis, before I let you go, I was asking uh, my guest, Anka yes. Valentine, and do we say Valentine or is it Valentine? Yes. You know, even at this, at this rate, anything can be no, Valentine. Okay. Valentine. Valentine. Yeah. But Christine. Christine. Christine Valentine. All there right. is what we call irregular. You know, uh, spellings and pronunciations, that is an English language. Uh, all right, Chris Willis. Christine, but Valentine. Valentine. Remember, you also say horse, but we have was. Was. All right, Willis. Laughter, but don't say slaughter. You say slaughter. Slaughter. I can slaughter. give you just I can see, volumes can go, I of can, examples, Betty. I can see that, Willis. So before I let you go very quickly, we were talking about, <laughs> do we say sewing machine yes. or sewing machines, Willis? I was saying sewing oh. machines, and she was saying sewing. Betty. <laughs> and I have a feeling I'm wrong, can I so just you, tell me. Betty, <laughs> most sincerely for bringing that word. S-E-W, S-E-W, don't say sew. See you, no. Okay. It's tricky. It is that tricky. That is the word you pronounce as so. So. so all right. So, not see you. Just okay. like sowing or to sow of planting. All right. So, so the machine is sowing machine. Right. A sowing machine. Don't say sewing, sewing machine. Forget about that. <laughs> say so. So, right, Betty, I'll, and anything I'll, else? And Just I've ask forgotten anything that. else. <laughs> Liz, I'm, I think I've had enough for tonight. But honestly, <laughs> she was saying sewing, and I looked yeah, at her like, are you long, sure? Betty, please. Yeah, Willis, I looked at her, are you sure it's sewing machine? But here you are it's saying sewing. that that is the correct pronunciation. Sewing machine. Yeah. Not sewing. Okay, got it, yes, Willis. That is it, Betty. I've corrected but my. But they can myself. also reach me on Twitter at. <laughs> Willis Ocheng At one. Willis Ocheng one. All right. Thank you very much. Willis Ocheng is our word master here at KTN News. And of course, 
one of the favorite uh, segments here on Friday Briefing. So you can always reach him at Willis Ching one if you want him to talk to you more about those difficult pronunciations that you use every day. All right, so we'll take a break, but coming up in a few minutes is sports news right before we wrap up the show, so do stay with us.